quickly, you know, this is, you guys are solidified into the number seven spot, right? Um, how do you want to, but it's so important the way you play going into, you know, you want to have good habits and that kind of stuff going into the playoffs. What are the kind of things that you guys really want to emphasize today, just as far as the style of play and getting on that flow and rhythm to be able to go into the postseason playing as best as possible? Um, the biggest thing is we want to play Missy's basketball. We want to make sure we're sharp on the defensive end, make sure we're sharing the ball offensively. We just want to use this game to build momentum going into the playoffs. Um, you know, we just got to compete for 40 minutes. When you play the team that you most likely are going to play um, in this first round, how do you approach it? Do you, do you just play it as a regular game? Or because I don't know if there's like things that you might not want to show them so you're mm -hmm. going to see them in a couple days anyways. Um, what's that dynamic like considering it's the team that you might face turn around in a couple days? I mean, it's, it's like any other game. We approach it. Um, it's the next game ahead of us. Um, if the game plan changes, then it changes. Um, we won't know until <laughs> it's game time, <laughs> until we get there. Um, I really can't say what we're going to do um, or if it's going to be different, but I think if we stay true to ourselves and just play our game, play Messi's basketball, it will be fine. And uh, I wanted to ask, uh, it's been quite a regular season for Washington, <laughs> mm -hmm. but if you think about what you'd like to take from the regular season and what you want to keep in the regular season, what would you challenge people to say? Um, I would just, um, I mean, we've shown a lot of heart this season, um, and we've been able to push through adversity, um, which is two things that you have to be able to do in the playoffs is have big heart, um, and be able to push through adversity, you know, when teams are playing well or when they're going on their runs and stuff like that. Um, we have to just use that experience just to be able to adjust and to keep on going and not really give in, you know, to the pressures of, you know, New York making a run or whoever we may end up playing, making a run. Um, well, first thing first, I've been starting a lot more. <laughs> um, but no, I just um I've been starting a lot more and I've been playing a lot more and I just um I've been very appreciative of the opportunity. I mean it sucks that you know our player I, my teammates had to go down, but just being in a position to help my team be better, you know, with players out, um, it's been great. So I think I've been able to grow in areas, you know, both offensively and defensively. Um, and I just want to continue to allow that to grow. Um, I want to finish the regular season on a good note um, and just build some momentum going into the playoffs. And before your teammate, uh, Mom, comes in here, I just want to ask you, what value do you think there is in having international players like Mom in this season? Um, it's great. I mean, this style of play is very different. Um, she's used to, you know, doing a lot more moving on the offensive end. Um, she's a <laughs> sharpshooter, um, as everybody know. Um, but no, she's really good. I mean, she's physical. Um, she fits right in. Um, in the league, and I think it's really dope that she's been able to come in and kill it. What have you learned about playing delivery this season? When you see the the way they've constructed their roster, what's what's maybe difficult about playing them? you know, stay in a single game, but like perhaps looking ahead to a series, what would be difficult about facing them in a series? Um, New York is very talented offensively. Um, and I feel like we, as the Mrs. we match up with them pretty well. Um, but we know that there are things that we have to take away. Um, we can't allow anything to be easy for them um, because they're, I mean, they're going to score. Um, but the key is to not make it easy <laughs> for them. Okay. You, uh, the same about that was saying that you guys are really not a seventh seed if you're healthy, you're much higher than that. Do you think Washington is an underrated team coming into the playoffs, you know, a dangerous team for the folks? How, how do you feel? Uh, most definitely. I mean, I know the team. <laughs> so, I mean, I would I would definitely say we're um, we're underrated or we're a dangerous team. Um, it's just we'll take 40 minutes of us playing together, locking people down, um, and also okay. just being effective on offense. Oh, no. Any more in person questions? Okay, I gotta get to chapel. All right, we have time for one on Zoom. Jen. <laughs> hey, Tiana. I'll be quick. You know, just wanted to, to ask you about, you know, not specifically New York, but kind of the, the schedule as it lays out. You know, you've got this one on the road and then opening the playoffs on the road as well. Um, how are you guys kind of approaching that challenge? Because I know it's hard for any team to, to play on the road. 
Um, we gotta just take it for what it is. Um, it's just the card that has been dealt uh, to us, and we just gotta take it a game at a time when it comes. Um, we got a chance to take a take a few days off. Um, and just work it work and focus on us. Um, coming up, and now just give us some energy to get back on the road. <laughs> Thank you. That's all the time we have. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. I'm with the catch up here. Mm -hmm. Um. Specialist two days to build your good one fail from that. I can give a little without giving a lot. Oh, that's a bad echo. Um, obviously out today, um, our people would like her to see one more doctor this week. And it'll be in the next couple of days. Um, and I can't really say much more till that because there's still some different um, options, directions being discussed. So I'll have more when I have more, basically. If she's still... I see another doctor that probably puts her in pretty big danger of missing the first series. Does that seem yeah. um, logical? I can't, I don't want to say, um, and you know, have to walk it back, but you know, if we don't, in all likelihood, we won't play till Friday. Um, so we, you know, obviously, we need to make sure that we're doing the right thing for her, not just now, but long-term. I mean, she's a, uh, a future, you know, key part of this team. She's 23, 24 years old, and we don't want to put her out there without a full, you know, feeling and being confident that, you know, we're doing the right thing. So I really just don't want to say too much more until I can give a more concrete answer. Yeah. Um, just one uh, kind of a follow-up from the other night, you know, Post game, you weren't sure how you would approach today. I'm curious as far as you know minutes and balance, and because you, know, you guys are established where you are, how do you approach that? Um, knowing that you guys are where you are, and also the kind of balance of possibly having to turn around and play this game again on Friday. Yeah, everybody's gonna play. Um, you know, I've only got nine, <laughs> so everybody's gonna play. Uh, I probably will not play anybody crazy minutes. You know, I'll try to keep everybody to a reasonable number, but. You know, I think we also need to get a little rhythm and get a little confident, confidence about the way we're playing, get connected a little bit more on both ends of the floor. So, you know, I'm not going to run anybody into the ground, but um, we haven't had many opportunities with our main group that's playing to get some live work. So uh, we're going to use that opportunity today. I can't control what New York does or wants to do. You know, obviously they can still get first. I don't know how confident they are about getting some help. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll do what I think is best for us balancing not overworking everybody but also needing to feel good about the way we're playing just last one how's uh ariel coming along just with the nose and mask still training right here. yeah i think today will help i mean i think another game under her belt will help um she seemed to come through the other night fine other than being you know just frustrated that she uh she didn't play quite the way she wanted but well nothing like that first game back Hey, Coach Erica Ayala with CBS Sports. Uh, when you think of the regular season, uh, what you saw from your team, what from that style of play do you want to take with you in the playoffs, and what do you want to leave in the regular season? Love to leave the injuries in the regular season. <laughs> um, it's a it's a hard season to evaluate in a lot of ways, and you know I'll leave that for a later date. But we've shown at times. Um, what we're capable of being defensively first and foremost, you know, we're capable of being an elite defensive team. Offensively, it's been more up and down, but I think we've shown enough times of us playing the way we want to play, uh, of the ball moving, um, of our guards being able to attack and get in the paint and create for themselves and for, you know, our shooters. Um, scoring off our defense has probably been the biggest thing. When we've scored well off of our defense, it's typically set us up for success. And we're only going to play good teams. You know, we're going to have to defend at a really high level and rebound. Um, I'd like us to rebound better than we did consistently through the season. But, you know, I think the the one thing is, is after today, we get kind of a clean slate. And we know we're going to have to play a really good team, whether it's these guys or, or Vegas still potentially. Um, but that's where we wanted to be at the start of the year. And we're maybe just, you know, getting them a little earlier than we uh, had mapped out. But, um you know, that's going to be zero zero come whatever day we play, and we have a chance to play our best basketball at the right time. And you talked about defense, certainly been something as an observer that has been noticeable for this team. What do you think was key to unlocking how this team has been able to play defensively this year? We have great individual defenders to start with. You know, we've got guards that can pressure the ball and disrupt. 
Uh, we've had length uh, at the rim. Unfortunately, when we lost both Elena and Kira, uh, we lost a lot of that length. But um, I think in other ways, people like Maisha and Tiana have played to their strengths defensively. You know, we got Queen to give us a little bit more solidity there. Um, but I think that combination of, you know, perimeter pressure with heavy help and early help to back that up um, has been when we've been successful and, you know, obviously forcing turnovers and, and get some easy buckets the other way. Thank you. Yep. Hi. Hey, good to see you in person. Um, I've seen Brittany develop the most this year. I mean, people are putting her in the MIP yeah. discussion. How would you sum that up? You know, I think when we recruited her, um, and I've known her a long time, but when we recruited her, we kind of pitched a, a vision to her of some of the freedom she'd have on our team to, you know, be the complete version of herself. And I mean, I've talked about it, but one of the main things was being willing to shoot the ball. And I think um, sometimes that's just that freedom mentally and that encouragement can go a long way because we knew she was a good shooter that hadn't really shown it the way we thought she could. Um, defensively, it helps her to play with other great defenders. You know, she she's on a primary matchup a lot of the time, but not all the time. Um, she can be really aggressive as she likes to be because she's got people to protect her. And, you know, we've we've trusted her uh, with a lot of responsibility with the ball in her hand. So uh, I've talked to her a lot. I think, you know, her next steps as she continues to improve is going to be um, just maturing as a playmaker and somebody who, you know, feels the flow of a game and feels their teammates and how she's being defended. And uh, I'm excited because we've got her for, you know, a couple more years to, to watch that progress. What is the value of having international players like mom mm. in the league? How would you sort of sum up generally the value of having them? I mean, the first value is they're just they're really good players. I mean, it's it's um a talent pool that hasn't always been in our league. You know, we've seen it bits and pieces. Obviously, we had Emma for a long time and um but, you know, Mungza, we got an experienced rookie, basically, a, a, you know, whatever she is, she's 28, 29, uh, rookie with international experience and pretty fearless. Um, she brings a personality to our team that, you know, maybe because of the language barrier, people don't always see, but she's a big personality. And um, I just always think it's valuable to have different perspectives, different backgrounds, different ways of understanding the game. And I think you get a lot of value on a team when you put those things together. Here. I guess what do you think are some of the maybe the roadblocks in the way that prevent the W from globalizing it maybe the way that it wants to in the worldwide calendar is a challenge. I think everybody knows it. Um you know, we operate on a different schedule from the FIBA universe. Um there's not a lot of uh you know, a lot of work around and some of that. That's it's just a challenge. And then when you have international players come into the league, um, I don't know. It, it, it's I hope it's getting easier. I hope it's getting easier. More players, more international players are getting drafted, um, which which kind of sets a more um, concrete path for them in the league. But you know, I think as as our league goes the direction everybody wants it to go, if it you know becomes more money and more eyeballs and more teams and all that, um, there'll be more incentive for the top international players to come over. And we'll see the benefit of that. That's all the time we have. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Not only in a moment. Um, I think her defense, it seems like her defense has been improving, yeah. especially yeah. lately. Like you saw her get that first black shot the other day. Um, <laughs> I, I just want to ask. <laughs> How she's seen her defense improve and how she's kind of been able to get physical with some teams where I think they tried to um, use that to their advantage kind of earlier in the season. I think because I came here, it was just a goal, right? It was just to improve my game. My goal of playing here is to improve on my game. Actually, for me, I was playing a little bit more aggressive than the players. Previously, I think... Uh, Defense is one of my, I'm not, I 
I think I can do better on defense. But when I came to this side, the coach, the players, the players, all kept helping me, and then helped me to improve my own weaknesses. But my coaches and my teammates are very helpful, and they're helping me to improve my own weaknesses. But my coaches and my teammates are very helpful, and they're helping me improve my own weaknesses. But my coaches and my teammates are very helpful, and they're helping me improve my own weaknesses. But my coaches and my teammates are very helpful, and they're helping me improve my own weaknesses. But my coaches and my teammates are very helpful, and they're helping me improve my own weaknesses. But my coaches and my teammates are very helpful, and they're helping me improve my own weaknesses. But my coaches and my teammates are very helpful, and they're helping me improve my own weaknesses. But my coaches and my teammates are very helpful, and they're helping me improve my own weaknesses. But my coaches and my teammates are very helpful, and they're helping me improve my own weaknesses. But my coaches and my teammates So I'm super helpful. Ah,、uh, I'm super grateful. That's bad. Grateful. Yes. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> Early in the day. Yes. I just want to know,、um, what did you enjoyed about the WNBA, and what makes you want to come back? 什么会让你想回来别人打？我喜欢这里的竞争力吧。I love the competitiveness here. 因为在这里。不管是队内还是我们对于比赛、对于别的队来说，我们每一场的竞争力都非常的强。We're every single game is so competitive, whether it's between different teams or when we're practicing. 所以在任何时候都促使你，让你不断的去努力，去提高自己。So it pushes you every single moment you're on there. So you have to work on your game and improve. 所以我喜欢这种感觉。I like it. And that's what what would do. Make me want to come back. I am still here. Why did you go? I'm still here. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's my first day. This is from the league. Oh, you know that's what I'm going to do, right? Yes.、Okay. Yes. 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 Yes
first two in the playoffs. How are you kind of thinking about that? We need to show them how much we want to win. So it's uh it's very important like on our spirit. They need to feel that we really wanted the game. So So if we go all out and everyone play to their strengths, we have a good chance of winning the game. And just last thing for me, uh, what was your reaction to Tosh setting the franchise record for assists in a game the other day? Tash is a great guard. And she's a really good scorer too. She's a smart player. Not right? <laughs> You questioning Tash? <笑>嗯,反正我觉得就是,嗯,他能通过自己的优点吧,然后也同时给同伴创造出更好的机会。uh, Tash can really play to her strength, and at the same time, create great opportunities for her teammates. 所以希望他继续,呃,跟随自己内心,然后取得更多的成绩吧。I uh, really hope that she get to play true to herself, and then get better performances. Thank you. That's all the time we have. Thanks, everybody. Tell Tosh on her. No, <laughs> yes, tell on her.